Hi guys, NCWQ here, and you can see we have a new article which comes from Live Science. And this article is, scientists can't agree on whether genetically modified mosquito experiment went horribly wrong. Anyways, it goes on to state, biotech company released millions of genetically modified mosquitoes into Jucamina in Brazil. From 2013 to 2015, an English biotech company released millions of genetically modified mosquitoes into neighborhoods in Jacobina, Brazil, in an effort to reduce the number of native disease-carrying mosquitoes. But unexpectedly, some of the gene-edited mosquitoes passed on their genes to the native insects, feeling concerns that they created a more robust hybrid species according to the new findings. Considered the world's deadliest animal, mosquitoes spread the plethora of diseases including Zika virus, Ding fever, Yellow fever, and West Nile virus. To try to rid the world of some of these disease transmitters, a biotech company called Asitec released around 450,000 genetically modified male Andes Aegypti mosquitoes and Jacobina each week for 27 months. These mosquitoes were altered such as they carried a lethal gene. Once released, these ticking bombs were supposed to fit along and mate with females, the sex that bites the humans, and then die, but not before they pass their lethal genes to similarly doomed offspring. In the lab, scientists found, had found about 3% of males, females, that mated with genetically modified males would produce offspring. But even the small number of offspring that survived were weak and unable to produce offspring of their own. But now a group of researchers not involved with Oxitec is raising questions as to whether this method went as planned. This method had successfully reduced native mosquito populations in Brazil by up to 85%, the researchers wrote. They took genetic samples of the native population of mosquitoes in Brazil 6, 12, and 27 to 30 months after the company released the genetically modified mosquitoes. They found that some of the genes from the genetically modified mosquitoes had transferred to the native population. In other words, some of the offspring had survived and were strong enough to reproduce. This new population is a hybrid of Brazilian mosquitoes and the genetically modified mosquitoes that were created from strange Cuba and Mexico, according to the study, which was published September 10th in the journal Scientific Reports. The claim was that genes from the released strain would not get into the general population because offspring would die, senior author Jeffrey Powell, a professor of the ecology and evolutionary biology at Yale University, said in a statement, that's obviously not what happened. However, there is known, no known health risk to humans that might come from these hybrids, he said, but it is an unanticipated outcome that is concerning, Powell added. In fact, the genes that were passed on weren't the tweak genes that were designed to kill and tag the mosquitoes, but rather genes from the strains in Cuba and Mexico, according to the Science Magazine. The researchers also noted that this mixing of genes might have led to a more robust population, perhaps one that would be better able to resist insecticides or transmit diseases, Science Magazine reported. That, sub that suggestion has prompted a backlash from the com company. We're not surprised by the results, but what we are surprised by is the speculations that the authors have made. Nathan Rose, head of scientific and regulatory affairs at Oxitec, told Science Magazine. The company has requested that the journal review these misleading and speculative statements. Indeed, the paper now includes an editor's note saying the journal is considering the criticisms.
Anyways, you guys, I hope y'all are doing well, day or night, wherever you are in the world. Much love.